Hello, code with you. Have you ever wondered where the expression hello world came from in programming? Why does everyone start learning a programming language with some incomprehensible at first glance phrase? Perhaps the successful completion of the course, or rather its beginning, requires it, or is it simply more convenient? Or is it possible that this is a kind of greeting with a programming language or even with a computer? Even experienced developers during their programming journey do not think about why this is so. Let's dot all the dots, and try to dig into history, and give answers to all these questions. Before we start, please, give a like to this episode so more people can see it. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episodes. Let's go! And so, Hello World is the most popular computer program in the world. Known as the first example in almost all programming languages, for every programmer at the beginning of immersion in learning the language. So where did this message come from? As a function, the computer program simply displays two words, Hello World, on the screen. Traditionally, developers use this very phrase for system testing. So, if a programmer or student sees these two words on the monitor, it means that his code is working, can be compiled, run, loaded, and the result can be seen. All programmers, at this moment feel a rush of adrenaline, realizing that they have successfully started communicating with the computer. In other words, this test marks the beginning of the program. Over the past few decades, this has become a tradition that has passed through the ages and still exists today. The expression Hello World was first mentioned and published in the book A Tutorial Introduction to the Programming Language B in 1973 by Brian Kernighan, who is the co-author of one of the most widely read books on programming C programming language, along with the author of the language Dennis Ritchie. Brian is also a co-author of the AWK and AMPL programming languages. Although Brian Kernighan did not participate in the development of the Unix system, he coined the name Unix, Uniplexed Information and Computing System, for it and is the author of several books on this system, one of the most famous being Unix Programming Environment. Unfortunately, the legend itself cannot determine exactly when and why he chose the words Hello World. When asked what sparked the idea for the title Hello World in an interview with Forbes India, he said his memory was dim. What I do remember is that, I had seen a cartoon that showed an egg and a chick, and the chick was saying, Hello World. It's hard to imagine today, but before Kernighan's book Hello World was published, computers had a negative connotation among the public until the 1970s. They were massive mainframes, incredibly slow, took up an entire room and required an entire staff of scientists or researchers to maintain. And even useful in many areas. The famous algorithmist and researcher John Mount said that the explosive popularity of Hello World has somewhat relieved computer scientists of the burden of justifying the usefulness of computers to society. Most of the books on early programming languages such as Fortran or BASIC were primarily intended to explain to people that computers are not really that scary. One of the main catalysts for the spread of Hello World was the concurrent release of the PDP-11, one of the first commercial microcomputer successes. Digital Equipment Corporation DEC, sold more than 600,000 units of the PDP-11 at a price of about $10,000 each. That price was well below the millions of dollars that computers typically cost. The 16-bit PDP-11 series did not require punched cards. It was the first time you could use a programming language to communicate directly with a computer. But to increase public recognition, DEC didn't call it a computer. The company marketed it as a programmable data processor, to separate the product from the mainframes of the past. As more people bought programmable computers, more people read the C programming language, and thousands of people got Hello World again. 
Let's take a look at the variations of Hello World in the most popular programming languages. There were probably many different base programs to begin with. But Hello World is by far the most famous. Every programmer remembers their first Hello World as a rite of passage. Many may not realize it, but every time a programmer feels the sweet sense of triumph of overcoming the first hurdle of programming with the words Hello World, he is experiencing a moment that transcends history. Thank you for watching. Please, give a like for support this channel. Write comments, share with friends, and subscribe to see new series. Be safe. Bye.